I told my mom I thought I saw a werewolf. And my mom believed me. There is something going on in the woods of Wisconsin. It isn't Bigfoot, but it is a mysterious beast. And enough people have seen it to know it exists. A local legend the residents there call the Beast of Bray Road. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to your weird. The Beast of Bray Road is a wolf-like creature that was first seen in 1936. It resides in and around Elkhorn, Wisconsin, and is described by many witnesses to be six to seven feet tall, four to 700 pounds, fur all over its body, with the head of a wolf or a German Shepherd. It's also been reported to have glowing red eyes. It has been seen walking upright and on all fours and can run faster than humanly possible. In the 1980s, several witnesses driving down Bray Road have described the beast attacking them and their cars, leaving long scratch marks on the sides and the trunks of their vehicles. You know, and before I peeled off, that thing scratched the back of the car. My adrenaline started pumping. Um, I was scared. That thing, that was no dog. That was too big to be a dog. That thing was bigger than me. Even though most of these sightings have been at night, it is also claimed to be seen during the day. The sightings continue to grow to this day, and the latest sightings were February of 2018 and July of 2020. The Potawatomi tribe in this area claim that Lake Geneva is a window between the worlds, and this is probably why a lot of weird things happen in this area. There were so many sightings of this creature in the early 1990s that a animal control officer by the name of John Fredrickson had to make its own file folder. And a local news reporter at the time, Linda Godfrey, decided to take on this case and interview each and every person that was in this file, only to start to believe every single witness and what they saw. When you live in a small town and you say you've seen something that looks like a dog man or a wolf man, you know, you're going to get some ridicule, and they did. So they had no reason to say this. When Linda Godfrey decided to publish this story, she named it The Beast of Bray Road, and it stuck. Despite the ridicule, beast believers came forward in Godfrey's Beast of Bray Road article, like Doris Gibson, who'd seen it on Halloween night 1991. Driving down Bray Road, she had gotten out of her car when she thought she had hit an animal. And there's one thing I've always wanted to do, and that was drive down to Elkhorn, Wisconsin, camp out near Bray Road, and see what I could find. So, with all that said, Mike and I, Brother Brian, my brother Mark, and his girlfriend Kristen, are going to drive down to Elkhorn, Wisconsin, camp near Bray Road, and see what we can find. But oh wait, we're going to put a little twist to it. We're also going to ride our bicycles down Bray Road at night. Are we crazy? Yes. <laughs> so with all that said, let's get into the car and let's drive down to Elkhorn, Wisconsin and let's get this party started. Here we go. Brother Brian's here. So uh, how, how scared are you right now? Right now I'm not scared at all. <laughs> it's in the morning, obviously. That's true. And you know, we haven't seen anything yet. That's true. Maybe at nighttime. All right, I'll ask you in like, I'll, I'll ask you when it gets darker. Hey Brian, look to the hey, right, baby. like you're looking out the window. Can I look forward? What am I doing, looking that way? Okay, now I'll look forward. Like how fast? Just Super normal. Slow. Okay. And <laughs> how's it going? Good. Camping or? Camping, yeah. So, how many nights? One. Well, tonight. I had a reserve for two, but we're showing up today. Okay. It's supposed to be and tonight. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Here it is. So we have to 
park and then walk to the campsite. Alright, so just keep this in your dashboard. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right guys, so we made it to our campsite. Mike and I's tent is getting put up right there. Mark and Kristen's tent is here. And brother Brian has got his tent on top of a cot. He's the closest to the woods, so that's gonna be the scariest part. <laughs> and once we get this all set up, then we'll start recording again. <laughs> all right, Mark. Yeah? How afraid of, are you right now about the beast? One through ten. Yeah. Probably like six and a half. <laughs> really? <laughs> Already? It's only one thirty. Yeah, well at least it ain't ten. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kristen? Solid eleven. Oh really? <laughs> and Mike doesn't believe in anything, so Please. he's fine. <laughs> All right guys, so we got our tents up. I did forget to mention, we are literally 15 minutes away from Bray Road. Like I mentioned before, in Walworth County, this creature has been seen not only on Bray Road, but like in a lot of places. So this is the closest that you can technically camp near the road because the road, obviously people, it's like homes are on the road. So you can't just like pop a squat with your tent and like camp out, you know what I mean? So. We're just getting a little more settled and then we're gonna head over to Bray Road during the day and we're gonna check it out, scope out the area and see, possibly see it during the day, I don't know. Like they say, people have seen it during the day, so. Mark, did you know that somebody there has seen the beast during the day? Where? On the road? What? Yeah. So, I know, right? Daytime and nighttime. When are we going over there? I mean, whenever you guys are ready. We might be getting eaten by a werewolf. I don't, I don't know, so, okay, bye. I also forgot to mention yep. that Mike suggested that we should ride our bicycles down this road tonight. Yeah, she doesn't even tell us that she's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm recording. <laughs> So tonight when it gets dark, Mike and I, you got, one of you guys are gonna have to like drop us off. Okay. And then- Oh yeah, speed away, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have lights, we're gonna have, you know, people will be able to see us when we're riding our bikes. So hopefully, cops won't like pull us over and ask us what we're doing. Get ready for that. So we're almost there, and there are cornfields on either side of us right now. And it's just creepy to think that people saw this, this huge werewolf looking guy running through these cornfields and then running in front of their cars or scratching their cars. We're in the middle of nowhere, basically. It's just cornfields. I can't imagine driving my car down one of these roads, any of these roads at night by myself and then seeing huge creature like it would be pitch black out here there would be like I mean we're gonna experience it later <laughs> all right so we're on Bray Road right now it literally just looks like a regular old Wisconsin road ew this is like all of this is like this part spookier this part is so spooky this is the part you have to put on this looks like this looks like a something ran through it. There's trees. Ugh. Obviously, we don't know like what part of this road it ran out on, but I could see it being right, right here. in here. <laughs> yeah, right in the trees. I bet that'd be really dark and rainy. The road is also very bumpy and it's old. Ooh. Oh god, this is gonna be so. Not okay <laughs> when we're on our bikes. This looks like the shorter way. There you go. Beast. Let's just drove right through there. <coughs> you. Okay, this is where the sign is. Because I saw this exact spot in. There's this very 
famous um, like wooden statue slash carving that somebody had made and they put it on the outside of their property. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull over and we're gonna try to take a picture with it. I feel weird, but like they made it, so like they have that's the whole purpose of it, so people can like see it. I just feel kind of weird because it's like their property, but it's like freaking cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Look at it. There it is. Okay, so we just went um, down Ray Road to the highway, and then we came back again, went through that spooky park, and now we're gonna head back to camp. We're gonna fast forward, and it's gonna be nighttime. So, oh God, I'll see you there. <laughs> this is the rendering. Okay, that's the rendering of like what one of the witnesses saw. It was leaning on its knees, Eating roadkill. <laughs> what is this? Big potato or something? <laughs> no, that's supposed to be a dead. That's supposed to be a dead animal. Pretty creepy. It's pretty creepy. But she always like kneeling. Right. I mean, this is a rendering. All right, there it is. It's good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't want to look at it. That don't look at it. Don't look at it. Isn't that weird? Like it's like <laughs> this is a rendering. What somebody saw it, Mark? Oh god. Creepy. What the hell's he holding? It looks like a raccoon. raccoon looks like That's what I thought. It's a baby Sam Squared. <laughs> <laughs> That's someone hit with their car. There it is. <laughs> seen it in like all of this county, like Walworth County, but it like the main sightings are like over in that area. But the creepy part, and I told this to Brian in the car, is Lake Geneva is it's like really this whole area is kind of haunted and the Potawatomi tribe, the, Na the Native American tribes around here, they say that Lake Geneva is the window to the world. Like, isn't that creepy? <laughs> so like, it's like a, they think it's like a, a, like a portal. That's where all those people were? Yep. Yeah, it's so creepy. You wanna know something that's really creepy? I wrote it all down. <laughs> so, okay, this guy named John Fredrickson, he was the animal control officer at the time and he, they were getting so many sightings of this thing that he may, he had to make like a file in his office for this thing. And then a reporter, her name is Linda Godfrey, she took sightings out of that folder and then interviewed them. And then at first she thought it was like, this is just people making stuff up. But then after, like one after another, she kept hearing all these stories and then she like full on believed. So like, if you have a sighting today, she'll, you can email her and like talk to her, like, but it's like, hell yeah. No Mark. Hundreds. So there's a good chance that we might see something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that oh yeah, and I forgot to also tell you, it's mostly active in the months of August to October. Perfect. So, Hot season right now. <laughs> it's, it's baiting oh, no. season right now. So we're gonna see this thing. Yep. How big is it? Ports of six to seven feet tall. How big is it? Dong. Six to seven feet. Six to seven feet tall. Possibly weighing four to seven hundred pounds. Standard wolf size. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They say that it has a bodybuilder type it muscle. Oh, like All that? full of fur, head of a wolf, German shepherd, or bear. That's what they've said, but pointy ears. And red, gl red glowing eyes, Marky. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's out in the middle of the field just getting pumped with some iron. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's pressing. Getting his and corn stock, so. <laughs> Apparently he um like it like runs after cars and like it can scratch your car so Great, so we'll, 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 we'll take our car <laughs> cuz it's already got a cracked windshield love it though if it got scratched Oh my god I would love yeah. it if it scratched the car <laughs> I'm going to That's yours right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm like we're taking his car. Another sighting mark. Okay, what? A high school girl, she was driving down the road. <laughs> Driving down the road, she was going home late at night. That road? Well, that's like Bray Road, yep. She's she's driving down the road and she's going, it's nighttime, 
and she like goes to change the station on her radio or whatever and she feels like she hits something she's like oh shit <laughs> so she pulls over to the side of the road and she gets out because she's thinking that she hit like a neighbor's dog because it's all farmers over there and the bray road was named after the bray family that lives there yeah so anyways she gets out and she like looks up and this thing is like standing there and it's got red eyes and she's like Fuck this shit. Hightails right back into her car and starts driving away and it runs after her in the car. She said she could hear it's like do 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 and it jumps up onto her trunk of her car and it tries to grab on but since it was like wet and rainy out it like slid off and scratched her car and then she just took off. When was this? Uh, 19, 1990 or 1991? What's the last sighting? Uh, 2020. <laughs> July of 2020 was the last one. And we're talking to a dog man eyewitness who has seen the Beast of Bray Road most recently. And when was this that it occurred? So this occurred roughly in May, June. I believe it was June 23rd and 26th of 2021 when I had my first visual encounter. Anyways, we're getting ready. I'm gonna put on my. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. You said it. There's never been someone who. There's yeah. There's never been anybody who's like recorded it and rode down that road on a bike at night. Where are you? We're hauling ass. We are the first people to ride our bikes down this road at night and recording it on YouTube. All right, guys. I'm scared of my mind. This is so scary. Oh god, I saw a shadow. 